Hey dear sons and just welcome back to our search wording where we break down complex scientific concepts into easy to understand nuggets of knowledge. So today we are diving into the world of electrochemistry, specifically focusing on how to calculate specific questions using cyclic voltammetry. So, if you are ready to unlock the secrets of supercapacitor, batteries, and another energy storage devices, stick around. So, uh, first things first, what is cyclic voltammetry? So, cyclic voltammetry, or CV for short, is a powerful electrochemical technique that measures the current response of an electrochemical system as the voltage is cycled between two LEDs. It's widely used to study the redox behavior of materials and is particularly useful when evaluating the performance of supercapacitors and batteries. So, during a CB experiment, a voltage sweep is applied to an electro system, either two electro system or three electro system, and the resulting current is measured. The current response gives us a CB curve, which is potential versus current curve, which contains all the information we need to calculate here, that is specific capacitor. So now, let's talk about CB curve. So here, I have a data, and if I'm going to plot this data, so here, there's a plot of this data. This is potential versus current. So, a loop that reflects the current response during a forward and reverse voltage that is forward in this positive side and reverse towards negative side voltage the area under the curve that means area under this curve is directly related to the charge stored capability of an material it means this is directly related to charge storage capability of material which brings us to specific questions. Now, how to calculate the specific questions? So, the mathematic thing, how we can uh, or what kind of a formula we can use. So, specific questions, let's say I'm denoting with CS is equals to integration I times up to green J mean power M multiply by del V multiply by small v. Here, I, V, D, V is called area under the curve or integrated area of CB. That is, integrated area under the CB curve. Okay, which represents the total charge right here m is equals to mass or we can also say active mass of the active mass of the material right and here del v this is a capital v is the voltage window potential window So this is called potential window and a small v uh, is uh, represented by scan rate and uh, this scan rate is uh, typically measured in volts per second volt per second and this potential window is v2 minus v1 okay so we know everything about our uh, uh, formula we just need to find out area under the curve from this cb diagram from here right so let's put the formula into action and uh, what is the real example? I have a CB curve for you and I'm going to find out its integrated area. So how to find out integrated area of this curve? Here we have, uh, you just need to teach here and analysis, then go to mathematical uh, or mathematics and then go to integrate and open dialog. Right? Here, you need to put this in auto mode and you just need the absolute area and click here and it will reflect a window. So here you have uh, every information 
you have positive and negative potential from your your curve is starting to the end of the curve everything is mentioned here and here you have option area of integration right so i'm just going to click here area of integration i'm going to copy it and i have already prepared a excel file right so i have already prepared a excel file to put area mass i'm using 0.002 it means 2 mg mass we are using and for this cb the scan rate is 5 millivolt per second okay and the potential window is again one because we are using potential window 0.5 minus 0.52 plus 0.5 as you are able to see here in this diagram right so here for the calculation of a specific crystals what we have so when we just derive the formula we have everything so i b d b is the integrated area it means this integrated area is divided by active mass multiplied with uh, uh, potential window and also multiply with the scan rate so i'm just going to use this formula to calculate a uh, calculate specific questions so right now area so i'm going to take is equals to area divided by mass multiply by scan rate multiply by potential window and also we are using mass in gram so we need to use we need to convert this millivolt into volts so i am taking multiply by 10 is to power minus 3 okay so it will give you some value and this value is the value of specific crystals and uh, there you have it a simple way to calculate specific crystals using cyclic voltmetry if you found this video helpful don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more scientific and research content and if you have any question you want us to cover next drop them in the comment below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one thank you